Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads uh, the boy of mass 40 kg is sliding down the spiral slide at a constant speed such that his position measured from the top of the chute has components R equal to 1.5 meters, theta equal to 0.70 rads, and Z equal to minus 0.5 meters. That is in seconds. Determine the components of force F R F theta and uh, F Z, which the slide exerts on him at the instant t is equal to two seconds. Neglect the size of the boy. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, a 14th edition by R C Bella. We have been asked to determine the components of F R F theta and F Z, which the slides exert on the boy at t equal to two seconds right so the boy has the weight w and then we are looking for the reaction force that the slides exerts on the boy so we have a reaction force in this direction Okay, we'll have, again we are choosing the positive directions, we'll have the reaction force in this direction and as well as the reaction force in this direction. Okay, right, so let's label this and then my coordinates. This is my positive Z. Uh, this is my positive. Uh, this is my positive. Uh, uh, R. And this is my positive. Uh, theta. Okay. This angle here is 90 degrees. Okay is 90 degrees all right like so so this is our z positive our r positive and theta positive this is our W. Right. Let's write down the components. We have R equal to 1.5. Therefore, R dot, R dot, which is uh, the time derivative of R, is just equal to 0. It's going to be equal to R double dot, and this is equal to 0. We have theta equal to uh, 0.7t and theta dot is equal to 0.7. Theta double dot is just equal to 0. Then we have z is equal to uh, minus 0.5t. Z dot we just equal to minus 0.5 and Z double dot we just equal to 0. Alright, so we've calculated all these inputs. Let's find the value of AR. AR is equal to R double dot uh, minus R theta dot squared. Therefore, AR is just going to be equal to this part is 0. Uh, this just becomes minus R. Uh, R is 1.5. It's constant times point uh, dot theta dot squared, which is 0.7 squared. Okay. So we have 1.5 
times 0.7 squared, right? So this becomes a 0 0.735. Then we have a theta equal to r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot. And both these, this one is 0 as well as this one. Therefore, our theta, our a theta is just equal to 0. Then we have a z, which is equal to um, z double dot. And we know to say this is just all equal to 0 also. All right. So let's work out. Let's work out this. Um, so we have summation of forces uh, in the other direction, uh, going this direction being our positive, and this is M A R. Let me show the kinetic diagram like so, like so. Like so. So this is our M A theta. This is our M A R, and this is our M A Z. All right. So what do we have? A R. I didn't label this. This is F R. This is F theta. This is F Z. Okay, so we we'll have a f r is equal to r m a r, which is just equal to r m is forty times a r. We calculated a r as equal to minus point seven three five. Therefore, f r is just going to be equal to minus 40 times 0.735 this gives us a minus 29.4 newtons all right 0.735 by 40 that's 24.9 therefore f r a minus just means uh direction is in the opposite direction so this just means it's going towards the center of curvature. Okay. We have summation of forces in the theta direction, and this is just equal to m theta. So we do have the reaction in that direction, and this is equal to 40 by. Um, a theta we found a theta zero therefore uh, f theta is just equal to zero newtons okay and this one was in this direction like so and then finally we have summation of forces in the z direction this is equal to m a z we have f z okay a minus w equal to m a z so f z minus w uh, our f z minus w and our w is just m g 40 by 9.81 and this is equal to 40 and our az is 0 therefore our fz our fz is just going to be equal to 40 by 9.81 this becomes a 392.4 newtons Right, forty by nine point 
3.8132.4 newtons. Let's outline the final solution. And the Z is going up. Right, it's going up. So let's outline the final solutions. So we do have FR. There we go. Uh, we have uh, F theta, which is just a zero newtons. And finally, we do have Fz. Okay. So I hope this particular video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye. And I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.